Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome in to the second edition of Bedroom Fitness. I'm your host Ethan, and today's episode is all about planks. Ten years ago, people were planking everywhere, from roads to bathrooms and even in the office. That caused the housing market crash of 2008. Now, planks are reserved for a much more serious role in fitness and strength conditioning. Today, I'm going to give you five different techniques of how to do a plank, and I'll demonstrate all of them properly. So by the end of this video, chances are you will have a six pack. Proper plank form means that your body is essentially a straight line from your neck to your ankles. Supporting yourself with your arms and toes will work your core muscles as well as your back. On all planks, make sure you squeeze your butt and legs, working your glute and abs. It looks funny, but using this technique will make your workout better. Our first workout is called the arm plank. To perform an arm plank, you're going to want to put your toes directly below your ankles and your hands directly below your shoulders. Push up and hold. A proper arm plank involves your body in a straight line from the shoulders to the ankles. But too high won't work. But too low also not going to be a great exercise. Let me demonstrate. One of the most common problems beginners face is having their butt either too high or too low. The next couple planks I'm going to do demonstrate bad form. Don't replicate these moves. The next plank I'm going to show you is a forearm plank. It's literally the exact same move, but instead of putting your hands on the ground, you want to put your forearms. Pretty clever, huh? This move is harder on your abs, and you have to squeeze your stomach and your glutes so that you get more of an exercise. This is kind of the advanced version of the arm plank. Let's look at it. The next move we're going to learn how to do is called walk in the plank. There's a pirate joke in here somewhere, but I'm an internet fitness geek, not a comedian. A lateral plank step is when you move the right side of your body one step over, followed by the left side of your body, while doing a plank. It might sound complicated, but once I demonstrate, it'll make a lot of sense. One key thing to remember is to keep your butt down. I practiced this a couple times already, and I found my butt jumping way too high up. Like I said, you want to keep your shoulders in line with your ankles so that your back is a straight line. That will provide you the best ab workout. The fourth plank technique I'll teach you is just another variation. It's called a swivel plank. Start at an arm plank and then, with using your body as the axis, swivel one direction, putting your hands straight up in the air. Sometimes this plank is called waving to the crowd because that's sort of what it looks like. A common mistake is to let your hips sag. I'll demonstrate a really bad swivel plank. Sort of like the other plank, you want to keep your back in a straight line with your ankles. That way, all of the muscles from your whole body down get worked. One thing to note is that you want to stack your feet on the sides of each other. You have one foot on the ground and one foot touching your other foot. That way, it helps to engage your oblique muscles, the muscles in your back. Alright, only one more plank technique to go, but this one is pretty serious. A mountain climber plank involves the user <coughs> putting his knees by his chest in the middle of an arm plank. It might sound a little complicated, but you'll figure it out. Watch this. There's no huge speed factor here. Just do it at a relaxing pace to start. This forces you to work harder with your other three limbs on the ground. The faster you go, the more cardio intensive your workout will be. But remember, the most important thing is to keep good plank form. Ugh. And there you have it. That's a pretty solid ab workout. 
my stomach hurts, but hey, you gotta start on this beach bot early. So, in summer, when you're out catching a wave or just picking up a tan, you can look back at the ab workout you did in February and be proud. We did a lot of things today, including waving to the crowd, walking the plank, and mountain climbers. And those are all foundations to a solid ab workout. If you can hold each of those poses for 60 seconds, you'll be well on your way to staring at a six pack. That was fitness. This is a bedroom. I'm Ethan, and this means that you've just completed the second edition of Bedroom Fitness. I hope you reach your fitness goals.